So do we have the address, by the way, for Paul's, that's somewhere, the link? Yes, it's in Discord. Okay. So there we are, ecosystem restoration comps grant chart. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so how are the grants coming? So we have a grant coming in March and a grant coming in April. Uh, that <laughs> well, would be, put grant is, oh, that should be Gantt. Okay. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> That's yeah, cool. Yeah, I can change it online. So oh, just, just so you know that I recover, uh, Daniel. I didn't tell you. I recover my. I took out the update from 2017, and I recover mine from 2012. So I re recover. I retook my 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 rights on Omniplan, but anyhow, it doesn't matter. We're gonna use this Google. Uh, so every guy, everybody can use it free, and it's nice and. Uh, yeah, no problems for nobody. One Two thing that I should also Two do teas. that is, uh, <laughs> can't. yeah, sorry for that. Also, yes, yes. We are just, <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you don't cross those T's, we just can't move forward. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. So I put the calendar for chat. I, I, took, I, I, I hope when you use it in, in America, is translated into English. These kind of things, but yeah. Uh, additional, I put industry. You can use several things. I put educational services ah. because mm -hmm. agriculture, fishing, and hunting doesn't appeal to me. So educational services seems to be pretty fair. If somebody wants to sh to change it, you can change it in the night. And I put eight hours a day, five days a week, and then in and out, and ten week, twenty weeks. Let's go from 8 in the morning to 15 in the afternoon. That's good. Let's save it. So then I put, I put footprint, foot, footprint, footprint, dump finish, footprint, rot finish, and footprint camp prepare. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. And then I am all ears. I want your suggestions and we can, I can change it. And then I can save it in Google Drive and everybody can use it. But before that, we can all together put the last, the last touch on it. I start Alfonso, Alfonso's dam. I don't speak for, with Alfonso's uh, from uh, the last time. So I don't know what he's uh, doing in the dam. So I put 20th of March, 20th of March as Alfonso start doing the dam. Hopefully, when uh, John is there, he will. I just put this date. I don't know. I will talk with him. But yeah, I put three days. When you go to this part, you can shift it and you can go there. Oh, yeah, I see. Are you okay. watching? Yeah. And you can see duration, the start, the end, predecessors, and uh, resources. I hope this will be translated into English when everybody opens it in so. China. You think it would translate it to where you're coming from, yeah. If not, I will put it, yeah, yeah, I think this is, hey, we are a, we're a planet. We have subheadings, we can put subheadings in here, right? Like you had before and, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Okay, when, when, I, I, when we finish and I save it, I would check with you, Daniel, or Paul, or Ray, if you have it in Google Drive and it's open in English, like duration, name, name, start, finish, and all those things. So I put four days for the dam, and I try to put it simple, as Paul suggested, because, yeah, less chaos. And uh, Alfonso's dam, start, four days, TTT, footprint, dam, finish. Earthworks start with swell one, which is parallel to the road. Uh, footprint road finish, three days for making the road. Inner camp works, which means uh, we can put more things like crown, crown it, or but water, piping, electricity, and swell two. Maybe swell two is out of the, the camp thing. We will put more like uh, gray water systems, maybe. What do you think? Or right. just simpler, very simple. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna match this to our other uh, yes. thing. Mm -hmm. What was that called? Uh, phases from the, the other. Yes, phases. Ah, the phases. Yeah, yeah let's phases. go for that. And then, 
Maybe can you can open face. it also, Jose. The faces one. Yeah, uh, let's yeah. open. So I could not take out this. So now our share five. Uh, the faces were t -t 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 banter, 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 tag, tag. So the Gunter is an application that everybody can download into Google Drive, as you know. So you know, and then we are talking about making fitted with Gmail, Google Drive, faces. Let's check. Where are the faces? Oh my, I put too much documents. Uh, Google Drive. Uh, do you have it, Daniel, on you? The, somebody has the faces doc in front of... Hey, I can find it. Okay, chronotype. I have down. the chronograph already. Ecosystem restoration. Let's go inside this up. Okay, I got it. Okay. Faces, yeah, I have the sun face, principle of ecological design face. Listen to the land, designing future things using natural patterns, affecting the land, ecological function. No, it's not this. This is just the narrative. I got it. It's on the screen now. Can you see it? Because my connection, I think, is not stable. But... Mine's Jose. neither. I think the Jose, can you see it? I have shared my my screen. Yes, please. Yes. Can you see it? Yeah. Jose. Right. But uh, I'm just crazy with my oh, own I computer. See it, yeah. Regina Now I see it. Okay. Cool. Lo ves? Lo ves? Jose. So, Lo veo, lo veo. I think so what we're wanting to do is make these two things match. Yes. yes, yes, let's do it. I think we can do it fast because as Paul said, it's not very efficient this way of working. So as we can do a, a very fast check that what is missing from one to the other one and then the editing can be done afterwards by Jose or by another any other person, yeah. okay? Okay. So, Daniel, do you start? Or Jose? Uh, just a question. The title does fits to you, Ecosystem Restoration Camps Gantt Chart? Yeah, that sounds good. It's, uh, yes, it's a general name. I think or everybody maybe knows. Spanish Ecosystem, Spanish Ecosystem, maybe? Restoration yeah. comes yeah. to Spain. Maybe Spain. That would be Spain, Spain would be good. Yeah. Yeah, let's put Spain. Or Mur um, yeah. Murcia, maybe. Mur Murcia Altiplano or something like that. Murcia so part of that, we have, to, we have to remember that the Spain pro is a project of the foundation. So anytime yeah. we can isolate it as to that, uh, and then yeah. the foundation will because basically um, co opt all of our systems eventually into their own. Okay. Different projects. I'm ready. Uh, what can I see here? I can't. Uh, am I looking at? I'm just looking at the uh, Zoom screen, or should I be looking at the the other one? So maybe host is is better Regina, than you share. I, yes, I I I'm sharing the the faces plan. That maybe it's better that you share yours because we can all be, see this, but yours, we cannot see it. So it's better that you share, and then everyone in, in its own yeah. computer can see this one that is now, okay? Right. So I, I okay. go out right. here. So what were we gonna do at this point with these two things? Just go over it quickly? Yes, go over quickly, yeah. and Jose can write down in Spanish, but to, to avoid losing time, what, he should change and then he will do it offline. It's okay? Okay, okay. If yeah. there's something important missing from yes. the simple Gantt chart. Yes, yes. okay. Yes. 
I, I don't know how, how yeah let's to get the bigger stuff sharing. first make sure we are missing something and then uh, so we're gonna close okay. there we go yes so open yours Jose that we can see your right. chart that is only yours <laughs> okay <clears throat> oh it's ours yes. I think we mean the Ready. old one the old one, Jose, I think. The Omni plan. Oh, the Omni plan. Okay. The Omni plan, yes, because this you can finish afterwards with the things that we are going to tell you. It's okay? Okay. Do you, do you see it? The Omni plan thing? No, we see no, just you the counter. You have to switch screens. You have to switch yes. the screen. I have to switch screens. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Uh, the hard attack, and then I use is compartir and then compartir on the plan and then compartir now we see it yes 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 there we go <laughs> yes so alfonso's dams should be called i mean we have we it, there's going to be three dams eventually so dam one alfonso dam one. you call it alfonso but it's yes. uh yeah uh, Earthworks one road pegging, we call it flagging. Pegging is good too. Um, I just leave it at that. Pegging in Earthworks. Um, so oh, it's, it's on, on there. Don't worry road. with the spelling. I, I road. Yeah, road pegging and flagging and that. That's fine. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah. Then, Regina, uh, you, you singer. Singer? But what do I you mean, mean? Uh, singer, sing, uh, canta. Cuéntanos la historia de que hay en el, el Faces. Okay. Que que Here we have a milestone one staging and site development. So first, a kind of uh, detailed Detailed analysis and site assessments, assessment research, B, cl climate scenarios, plant and seed supply lines, uh, tools and equipment, monitoring site, initial state. This is the first part. Then we have access developed that I think this is footprint road finish. Eh? So, mm -hmm. uh, oh, and then road finished is the well, road finished, yes, is yes. the. Milestone. Yes. yes. Wow, it's gone. <laughs> so then okay, we... Daniel. Just so from the start, let's let's put easy. Like like Paul says, very easy, simple. So no chaos. Right. And then sub subtitles. We will put it afterwards. I, right. I like concrete. Yeah. Let's go for it's very simple. That's why I thought just go go to Granter Granter directly to do Google Drive and put a new a new one. Uh, only plan we are gonna not share it because we have not the right to share it uh, for all the right, ERC. Right. Let's go to Granter. I, I, we can start from new in Granter and we go for it. Okay. I, I I exchanged already the, the dates, so it's. Oh, this Gunter is already is on already. there. All this is already on Granter. Yeah, that makes. Yeah, not not all. I took I took out the nursery, the check dam, and one rock dam uh, oh, okay. stops, and I took out the mm. finish, and I took out soil too. Mm. Okay. That's all I took out. Let's go if for we it. have uh, no objections, sure. Okay. So one thing that's missing in Ganter is a windbreak. I think that's a component that is yes. is not yet sort of a milestone is having the wind breaks installed. It's different than the will, tree planting. Maybe in October, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's, a, it's future. Should, yes, in October. Yeah. Well, this is down along the, the wetland area. So mm -hmm. there's going to be water there pretty much all the time, unless you think it's just too hot. Um, but there is going to be water and there's going to be a cooler temperature down there. And they're fast growing hopeless or uh, something like that along and that's more of Alfonso's thing mm -hmm. too but it's still going to help us it would be okay, cheap so maybe it, we'll put it. Mm -hmm. it would be cheap to plant from cuttings so we, 
Yeah. When shell um, shelter or break? Yeah, when break. Mm -hmm. um, Wind, windbreaker. Windbreaker. Windbreak. B R E. Perfecto. <laughs> so, do you have a, a Salix in uh, Spain? Populus Salix. Salix. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah. Populus, Populus Alba, Populus Negra, Negra yes. Salix, we have everything. Yeah. Yes, we have everything. They are on the <laughs> list. We could just cut, we could just cut Salix and just shove them in the ground. Bam, 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 bam. Yes. Yeah. 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 That'd be a good start. Autumn, more autumn, November. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm. It has yeah. to be dormant. Mm. Oh, does it have to be yes. dormant when you sh do that? It's better. Yeah. It? Okay. Winter. winter. More energy stored. Mm. So let's go, let's go. We have half 20, 40 minutes. Let's go for it. Let's finish it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, how about uh, uh, improving soils in garden site? I think maybe, we, uh, maybe you're doing intensive work on some areas, but you want to do maybe a broad scale improvement of a footprint by bringing organic matter and planting a cover crop. Right, soil amending or whatever, yeah. So it's sort of a, the, the pre preparation of the garden footprint. It would be great to do that uh, efficiently at large scale. Mm -hmm. Large scale, you mean the five hectares? Uh, no, I'm thinking- Okay, it's uh, just the veggie garden. Yes. Okay. okay. And the uh, yeah. the height the hoop houses um, also, which are I think going to be a major production area. after nursery or be, be, yeah, before nursery, at the same time maybe. I trust you to decide. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Seventeen of Mars of I April. Seventeen. We are missing a storage. April. A storage area. We, we are it's in inner camp works to build a storage area. Mm. So uh, uh, tool and yes. tool and material storage. Yes. Right. So once the footprint camp is prepared, the footprint of the camp is prepared, then we can do those things. We really can't do anything uh, until that's done. But so after that's after 10, then you can have a storage building, the nursery, and then do the garden soil after the garden soil. How many days? How many days the nursery to build up a nursery? 15 days, 10 days? Oh, it's just staking it out and then doing the soil. So let's just say, let's just. Uh, let's With see, I don't that. have the map up here. It's like, I mean, it depends. Okay, how many people do we have? What are we using? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I was thinking okay, three myself because we're not doing anything with it yet. We're just getting yeah. it prepped. I mean, for the nursery, is... we need before to, to build up the polytunnel. So I, I, I include polytunnel plus nursery building soil and so on. So 10 days. I think that's a lot. But yes, that's too much. So it's a hop house, eh? I think. Yeah, so the nursery is separate from the hoop house, though. The, the hoop house is for... Oh. Okay. Food production. The okay. nursery is down the hill on one of those one okay. of those stripes. And what's what's uh, shape will have? The nursery, the nursery is just a real long. Uh, uh, let me open that up. So it's not going to be. It could be also a house that is easy to to build or. Yeah. That's what but I was have, meaning. We have two of them up. We have two of them up on the hill. So we can make a hoop house nursery. But it's easy to build on, on fast, maybe? Sure. Well, if we have the pipe and we have the bender and we have the materials. Yes. It actually is pretty fast. Yes. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, five days. Just to, just five days. Then everybody, okay. so. we can, we can, next week we can put a, a, a next detail on it. I would like to have all the okay. thing more or less. Okay. Five days, one person, Three I think. Eight. Because if it, it, it no, is more I mean than a nursery, you need to make okay, nursery. Okay. I include 
build the polytunnels or whatever it is to the okay. infrastructure to put shade summer and a, a yeah, polytunnel plus put in the seed preparation the plants and the everything seeds, okay okay tools within yeah. The, the, the yeah okay so from the beginning alphonse alphonse's dam we are okay four days yeah he was okay also three four days for alphonse's yes. dam doesn't yes. matter where he started mm -hmm. from then on we our gun chart will start but i put 20 yeah the before day of spring then fruit, footprint done finish so we put so we change the title so it's just a milestone shall we are you do you agree with it one day boom uh with the with the name footprint you mean yeah i think we put we put a milestone in the in the budget one. from paul one Damn one, yeah. Finish, yeah. Earthworks. So one one earthworks. goes alongside the road. Huh? So one. Actually, that needs to be after the road. So. Uh, yeah. Yes. Road goes in three. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Is this I have to change into. Yeah. Up, arriba, up, road finish, and then earthwork. There we are. So we finish. Three days. Instead of a footprint. Huh? Yeah, Daniel, yeah. Is, is there a copy of your design on the Google Drive as a PDF? I don't think uh, so. It's in the uh, Dropbox. Uh, oh, I think there's a, in Discord, there's a copy. Okay. There's not one in Google Drive, uh, but there could be. Let me think. Let me find it here. Uh, it, it is in Dropbox? I, I didn't find it. I, I saw the one that you put on Discord, but it's a very low quality. I couldn't see the things very well. Oh, okay. Maybe. I thought that was a PDF. Um, oh, on Dropbox, you put it, maybe? Maybe. It doesn't need to be now, but maybe at some point we have the drawings in, uh, in Google, if we have one place for things. Um, and, and then if the, there are names on the drawing that correspond with the names in the budget and the names in the Gantt chart, that would be helpful. Uh, yes. So when we say a swale, yes. we know which swale. We say yes. uh, you know, garden, yeah, we yes. know which garden, you know, because it's always about uh, square footage, you know, things like that. For sure. So um, that's... I have, yeah, I have all of, I thought you guys always had access to that on the Google, on the Dropbox. Um, I have to find it again. Okay. <laughs> yes. So it's a, there's a, what's called, I call it the public access folder. And that's where I put all the stuff that people can look at uh, okay. and keep all of our source files separate. But um, the latest one, yeah, I'll, I'll put the latest one in Google Drive. I, I just have that open now and it's be easy to just do that. So I'll, I'll just do that for a second. So I have a question. The, the the word footprint is meaning here milestone. What is the meaning of footprint there? I think you can uh, maybe get rid of footprint on number two and number three. Yes, because uh, I, yeah, okay. Yeah. Footprint, come prepare. I take out uh, footprint. Um, yes. Well, if if you want to. Uh, the, uh, you would say camp footprint prepared yes, would be easier to understand because you're not preparing the camp. You are just preparing the place for the camp. Yes. Yes, that's, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. so and then on number two number and number three, I think it is not necessary to have footprint. Yes. So road footprint finish or just road Just finish? road finished. Road, road finished. And then one thing is you change up your mind in one week time, you change your mind, huh? You're making me <laughs> dizzy. Okay, so footprint dump one finish. Then and I put uh, one zero day because it is a milestone. <laughs> oh, we're getting rid of uh, footprint, the word all totally. That's the bubble tower. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jose, Jose, me decían que lo quites. Quites la palabra yeah, footprint, I, I, footprint y la dejes solo yeah, en campo, footprint. 
La quites de los dos primeros y la dejes solo en el campamento. Y la quites la de los dos primeros. Yes, ok. That's... Voilà. Yeah. <laughs> Paul. María, ¿estás bien? Sí. Hey, are you okay? I don't hear you. Are you alive still? I'm happy. I'm good. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm trying to stay out of the way. I would just say you're the only two people not telling him what to do. So. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We finish. All right. Dump one finish. And we have finish. to see the, the plant list. So we have to go. Not finished. 23rd. 23rd. Hopefully for the 27th, the road will start to be built. Even before, even when Alfonso's finish in three days, it could be 24th. But three days for making the road slowly, slowly in Spain, three days. In America, one day and a half. Or maybe one day. Three days. And then, are you okay with this? Uh, with the break? I, I, have, I have to, uh, I yeah. trust your decision about time because yeah. time is about equipment and labor and yes. you know if we don't yes. know the equipment or the labor there's no way to predict yes. time that's that's why yeah. okay this is potentially when one assigned manager 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 will be there and will be organizing everything and putting time in and uh organ yeah like orchestrate orchestration everything like potentially like uh, yeah like um but jose Jose, the idea is that the manager is there the 20th of March. So by the 20th of March, it's impossible that he has already all this work organized. Okay. I guess when, <laughs> when this date, the 20th of uh, March, you move it, I guess everything will move with it. Okay? Yes. Uh, okay. I don't well. want to check it out now. I don't want to check it now. Okay. Not to build up frustration, okay? Just yes. uh, we hope that this program will do the rest. Okay, just doing a sequ sequence and then we can move it wow. like with the thing from right. Paul. Let's not and worry about we'll... the days, the duration at this point. Voilà. Let's just get things okay. in line. Okay, yeah. and, then and then we'll, we'll change the dates. Uh, resources and budget, uh, Excel budget, yeah, Google okay. Doc with it, and then we, we blend it. Okay. So, Are there missing milestones? Any new missing milestones? Or is this everything? Uh, I think, uh, let me just look at this uh, document here. Claro, if you put zero days, it makes you a milestone. But before, let's check it out. Yes, okay. So before this, we're gonna pay, uh, before this, no, mail, mail. I think one of the major milestones, though, is um, having all of our materials together. Um, I mean, we have swales, we have, say, they're cut swale two, swale three, we've got those things. Oh, uh, one milestone would be the gray water um, constructed wetland. That's a major thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a major component of the system. Now it's working. Now we have two milestones. When you put, okay, I understand this. Sorry, Daniel, you, you, you were saying? The gray water uh, system. Gray water, that goes after earthworks. Yeah, in OmniPlan we have it, but shall we put it to add complexity or shall we in, in, in inherent in earthwork, in uh, inner camp works. It's a separate thing because it's a major, yes, it's a major, major component. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The design so and the budget yeah. will be more complex. Uh, 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 I should write um, the milestones with capital letters and the rest uh, without. Good, good point. Great border. Uh, we're building our, our style as we go here, so it's very uh, <laughs> dynamic We're process. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's painful. Um, yeah. Right, so gray water earthworks exactly, however. Yeah. So uh, we have and, three and the time, the now. days, one day for the gray water? No, uh, I, would skip, I would give that four days. Yes. Yeah, me too. 
Yes, one day yes. is, is too little. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to Spain. Four days. <laughs> Siesta. I'm just Siesta. 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 <laughs> organizing our materials. And, uh, Siesta, I'm the guy, so, you know. Jose doesn't get up till 10 o'clock. <laughs> <Yeah. Wow. laughs> Daniel gets up by 6 in the morning, so he will take a nap in the afternoon. I won't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So Depends. there's nothing for a tree planting, for broad scale tree planting. We have a Slater Pioneer ground cover we set because uh, and, uh, until until fall we cannot put the, the trees. So we will start with uh, Pioneer ground cover and white seeds, Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe some very strong and hard trees, but well, I, yeah. I would just wait till fall. So maybe put it for later, the, the so start the budget, so we can have it as an item. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so where did we have our, okay, water piping. Water piping is everything. That's the pump, the solar panel, everything, right? So we don't need to put anything else in there. Yes. No. Right? And I put two days, it is very positive, two days. That's very positive, okay. two days, yeah. yeah. Um, very positive, let's put four days. Um, uh, just, about electricity? Yeah. Do we have to put solar panels or whatever? It is separate then. This is from for CAM organization, I think. Yeah, right. I was just going to say that too. Electricity isn't our thing. Yes. Uh, we shouldn't I take need it out. It. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I but I do see on here, uh, we have on here somewhere, oh, a weather station, I see. Yes. Um, <laughs> And that's kind of a separate thing too, but maybe after water piping, we'll have some solar panels there and maybe that's where the weather station, because that's a major, I don't know, what do you think? There's a I monitoring it's a, program. Yes, it's, a, it's a small study, I think, for the monitoring, yeah, monitoring research it's a data teams. Should I take up? I think it's a small equipment. Uh, Maria? Maria? Yeah. La estación, eh, la, sí, la estación meteorológica. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I should ask because I never work with, with it. I know. I think it's with solar panel and it has a battery. Uh, I think it is self-sufficient, but I will ask. I don't okay. Know. Should we just put that in with the water piping? Should we say water piping and weather station is just one thing? Or oh, electricity I, and water. I don't think so. Oh, electricity and, and weather station. Yes, yes, maybe. I laugh, but I, I think it is just sufficient, so I don't, I don't oh, think Paul, it, were you saying at, have electricity, I, water, and uh, together? Well? Uh, I think my, my thought is that a weather station would go separate with a whole monitoring program. There's soil, there's weather, there's oh. all the things that we want to measure. Off of yes. this. Yeah, have have, have be a, a separate yes. uh, program. Okay. Know. Yeah. That's, that's it, it, not can, us. It, it can be in the maybe it is us. I think that the that, that there's also someone who has a research proposal too. Yes, just, Francois. Uh, that, yeah, Francois. Mm -hmm. So you know, it seems natural if he is monitoring soil moisture, you would have to monitor precipitation. True. Yes, in fact, he told about about uh, installing a weather station. And then there is soil testing also yes. before amendment, probably. So, right. electricity. So we're just going to take that out. Okay. That's not our our thing. Well, I think Jose is gone. Jose. I think he went to the toilet or something. He's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's running away. <laughs> yes. How about a, a drip irrigation? Yes. That would be a major feat to get in, right? Um, yes. Drip oh. irrigation would be good. And there's maybe both temporary and permanent systems. So it's just, we need a design for the whole irrigation strategy. True. So we need what, like feeder lines, manifolds that are permanent. And then out of that would come the temporary lines or whatever, but either way, there's got to be probably some permanent distribution lines mm -hmm. somewhere uphill mm -hmm. um, so. or on contour. So that would be somewhere before the trees going in and after the swales are made. 
but yeah. Um, uh, but if we're going to have a nursery, we're going to have to have that too. So uh, it's, maybe it's part of camp footprint, or I think that's the earthwork. The camp footprint. Maybe is the with the earthworks, I think. So, Daniel, so maybe out. maybe it's better to put uh, underground irrigation in Spain. Yes, so exudant, right. so, uh, I don't know, exudant, how it's called. While that's <laughs> being, right, while those are being made, sure. Okay, um, underground, okay. Underground. Yes, because of the... Yeah, I must leave in a few minutes. Uh, do you think we will, uh, you will have time today for the plant list and, and the animals? Or is it maybe better? <laughs> because I have, uh, let's... Hours. Let's work on this offline, sure, mm -hmm. uh, off meeting. Uh, what yeah. do you think, Ray? Is that okay? Because Sounds fine. What, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly being very um, uh, I'm not directive here in facilitation. Facilitatory. Uh, yeah. um, yes. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm happy. So we want to yeah. just put a... Uh, hit the pause button on working on the Gantt chart. Yeah, I think uh, we'll give Jose a break and then we can all go in on this and okay. um, clarify, simplify all that. I think we're all of the same mind of that. Okay. And then well, we'll... I think we needed to have this time where we kind of all got on the same yeah. with it. And thank you all. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe, uh, I mean, one of the ways to make meetings effective is to have uh, a product complete uh, before the meeting and then everyone can look at it and then at the meeting we can make you know final decisions uh, about it so I wonder uh, that would suggest that we have uh, you know products complete maybe you know Tuesday or Mondays you know, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then sure. on Thursdays to discuss products. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wonder if that kind of cycle, you know, would uh, help us use the meeting time more. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's there's some of the I think that there are times when uh, one could, an individual could work on a product and and sink a lot of time into it. And then when we have the meeting and we have other minds working on it, then some number, some amount of that work uh, uh, kind of set, becomes moot. Mm -hmm. And so I, I do think that in, in this case, like I said, we, we seem to have come together on how, how to how to actually come up with a, a product. Mm -hmm. I don't think that, so I think we need to leave some room in our process for, for both options. I think ideally, yes, we have, we have a product ready by Tuesday, you know, distribute it, have people look it over. And then sometimes we just have to put our heads together and have a, essentially a working work group meeting. Okay, what do we want to do now? We've still got guilds and animals. I want to show you some plants. How's that? Okay. Now for something okay. completely different. Okay. okay. I, I may have to uh, uh, leave fairly soon. So if there is an assignment you want to give me, uh, to do between now and next meeting uh, it may be useful. I, I can find other things to do, but if you have something specific you want me to do over the next week, I wouldn't mind a rest to my siesta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Um, Pants, give go me ahead. that screen back, Jose. Yep. Yeah, just a, just a um, question. When I say prepare the project and I put, let's say, do you want to select this search, this uh, into the Google Drive? Click in the icon of Drive for uh, adding this uh, link into internet, right at campus, uh, the, the fields of name of the link and URL of the link. What, what's this, what does this mean? It's, I never use this doc or Google Drive thing. So shall I put, when I save it into Google Drive, how do I put it into ERC Google Docs? Is by this link or? Uh, do I, do don't oh, I don't know. I don't know. I never. So I go to uh, See, I just, Google Drive. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is a link to Google Drive or the, or the document. Mm -hmm. Okay, Great. so I just save to Google Drive. And then you hide. Yes. Probably you will get a link 
And once you get a, that uh -huh. link, you can share it through this mm -hmm. thing that you have pushed. That's what I okay. think, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe Paul vale, vale. I will take, I will, I will keep you updated about my, my doubts. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I, I, I've been trying to push, I, there it is, okay. Yes. So the ERC draft is now on Google Drive, but no, I think I have to share it somehow. So I'll share that with you when I get a chance. Yes. In the meantime, uh, in the minutes that we have here, do, 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 do. I'm gonna share this with you first. This is what I'm gonna put into Google Drive. Okay, beautiful. And, uh, I think you guys have seen this somewhat low res mm -hmm. or whatever. Yes. Uh, very plain. And then I've been working on these. Yes. So we have a polyculture from Rahina and one from Jose. Yes. Uh, the top one is from Jose that I did as a group. And then uh, he was trashing me terribly. Uh, <laughs> and uh, no, he just said, you know, we need, and it was reminding me. So when we're up in the dry area, I'm going to flip it back and forth on you. So we're up in the dry area on the north side of this. It's not linear. We're doing things in groups, polycultures in groups and things of this. Yes. But we're down in the swale area and then we're production area. We're back in the linear. Yeah. We're back under rows. Okay. So that's a major uh, change. So mm -hmm. uh, I think I got the scales right on this. Um, it took a while for me to find all the plants uh, from the scientific name, a couple spelling changes, things like that. Uh, and then also... Uh, the common names. I'm trying to use both as much as I can. Uh, but these are uh, the, the structures for that. Is this clear? Can you guys see this okay? Yes. I think I, of course, I can see it great. So, okay. Yes. Um, and so we have a Zeric olive almond polyculture, and then we have the Argan olive polyculture on the bottom here. And uh, Rahina said there was something about the scale with the plants on the bottom one. Yes, that, yes, you have to change. Okay. Yes, you uh, have to change. Because there was a, a mix between metric and, and uh, yes. imperial. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes. But now it's correct on the file, so you can check the, with, with these numbers. Okay. Uh, all the things are, initials are scientific name, by the way. So, mm -hmm. no. so just for my own curiosity, uh, one, I always struggle with uh, permaculture designs because of uh, there's implied implied maintenance. How is the system maintained over time? Uh, you know, is the ground cover competitive? Is it is it cut once a year? Is it hand weeded every spring? You know, I I, I always want to know what's the maintenance regime that maintains the planting. Go ahead, Ray. And I, I don't want to uh, step on Jose because he's experienced, but but. Oh, over the long term, generally, the, what needs to be done is to chop and leave the what's chopped off in place. So, so pruning and chopping is is ideally uh, what you need to do. Uh, depending on, like, we're not talking about the, the kitchen garden, right? right yeah, yeah. We're, we're talking is... about establishing um, the uh, uh, forested area or, or whatever, and so. Um, generally, it's it's pruning and chopping and, and leaving the mulch in place. Hmm. Also, no, I understand. All the, but not the pruning. All the fruit tree material has to be removed. Uh, any fruit, things like that have to be removed for field sanitation. But green manures, perennials mostly, uh, those are right, chop and drop. Mm -hmm. So when um, you mean chop and drop, do you mean a, a hand with a, a rice knife or a, a comma, or do you mean with a scythe? You know, a scythe is, and a scythe is much fat. So the design of the planting and the mix of herbaceous and woody plants and their configuration uh, determines what tools you can use. Exactly. And, yeah. and for I example, mean, I'm, I'm, sorry, sorry, Danny. Go ahead. For, I, I, for example, in this case with olive trees, olive oil trees to collect the, the olives. What is done is that uh, we cut uh, in Spain, the, the, the herbs are cut behind, but they will regrow because they are, most of them are, are wild, wild herbs. So we will cut them. If you check, they are all small, except rosmarinus, 
all of them are small. So we cut them, we collect the olive oils, and they will regrow naturally. Mm -hmm. What is Just the for the olive the oil. Eh? It depends on the olive tree. Mm. But fall. Yes, yes fall. fall, yeah. fall. Yeah. So maybe winter. it's a winter. herbaceous a winter. So herbaceous plantings under olive so that yes. you can cut. Yes. Right. With some, with some small over bushes. Vets. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, firstly, we need to know if we, they're going to be animals that are going to eat the herbs, annual herbs yes. or not. If, if not, and then there are two kinds of things that are, the ones that we are going to leave as an ecosystem that we're going to, we do not need to come back in three, five years just to let it regrow and uh, recycle the nutrients. So the nitrogen fixing herbs and shrubs are also for, uh, they, they self, when the dry season comes, they fall down with all the seeds in the, in the pots, and then let the uh, summer, summer is the size, okay? We don't need size unless you want to put, to put it like very beautiful. The size, the site is the, 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 the dry season. Everything falls down, bam, and then the wind. Dryness and wind will blow and, and, and fall down everything and flat. Mm -hmm. In September, everything is flat. Unless you put rosmarinos, of course, or viscosa. But uh, uh, so we need to know how how we're gonna design also for the the public how we want them to watch yes. after mm -hmm. design, and two, what's our uh, involve in time and effort and energy. There is parts that we maybe we need just to restore with almonds and and olives trees and. Uh, some of them that are going to be for years growing up and just making their cycles. Maybe once and again, again in October, we spread some uh, nitrogen fixing seeds in, in autumn, like uh, disproportionate seeds from herbs, shrubs, and so on and so. And sometimes some places we are just going to uh, harvest with uh, our uh, chicken tractor or just sizing to make it quicker, the, the, nit the, the fixation of the minerals. And other places just to, for veggie gardens and just our trees that are going to be shaded, our veggie gardens in summer. Or if we decide that we're not going to use this natural fixing trees to get shade in the summer and falls in the, in the autumn, we're going to use polytunnels with uh, shaded soils. So we need really to, to, to know what are we going to do and why, especially why. Mm -hmm. yep. We need to decide this all together. So yes. I think that I heard uh, a couple different management regime, uh, management style, which is uh, one is let it grow and die by itself. One is have mm. animals. One is make pretty. One is yeah. maybe uh, intensive production of second crop like uh, artichoke or yeah, yeah. so on. So maybe we need uh, maybe yeah. three or four scenarios. Mm. And then, the, then we can evaluate the polyculture uh, if we don't have a scenario, we, it's difficult to evaluate the polyculture. Right. Yes. Okay. I think that we need to have also several areas with different treatments. And also a part with fruit trees, not with olive oils, to, to have different, different also scenarios of, of, of fruits that we can produce, not just olives. Uh -huh. I have a question. Yes. Uh, Alfon uh, who is going to maintain it? Uh, Alfonso? I, I mean, we. Oui. Um, I don't understand very well why Alfonso is not um, in this uh, design circle because I think he should um, be the the main person for for uh, choosing the 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 objectives. No. So I, I, it depends a little on, on what he wants and what, what uh, if he's doing to maintain it or who is going to maintain it. Uh, not only for the five years camp, but after so that moment. Right. The idea from Alfonso is that we do the, the five years and what he said in, in the General Assembly, Daniel? It was that he wants the, us to stay forever. In fact, if everything is okay. So in that case, we will maintain it. If we leave, who knows? He has to maintain it. <laughs> right. Who knows? So there, 
they're discussing all of the the equity issues now and the assets and the harvests and those kinds of things in the general assembly and the uh foundation talk because uh as far as the agreement goes you know there is this large investment in time in that and so it, things need to be shared uh shared with the foundation with people other than just let's do all this work it looks pretty and then he takes the harvest and walks away so right all that's kind of being worked out and we're trying to develop this as a model so what happens after five years hopefully we have two or three places that are also doing this um and it ran its course so and it's going to change too i have a question in this climate is olive and almond production dependent on irrigation no no okay okay so these are all unirrigated systems yes yes rain fed yeah there's also a uh a cultivar of cherry trees that i'm trying to find that i saw in lebanon that's totally drought tolerant it's amazing Apricot yes. and cherries here also, they are working. Lot, lot, lots of, of trees are dry, rain fed. You will find the, 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 the species that are in the Altiplano of Iberio uh, green. Okay, I, green I, house, I, yes. I, I already checked that and I'm making all kind of gills for different fruit trees that can be grown there and are, are, going, are, are being grown there in the Altiplano. Right. So, yeah. And they are rain fed mainly. Okay. Cool. By the way, I wanted to mention, I left a note in the uh, spreadsheet for this too, is our maximum number of plants is nine. Okay. Five at the minimum, nine at the most for the polycultures. It just gets to be a little bit much. Okay. Um, so focus on one or two trees, a couple of shrubs, lots of perennials and a ground cover. Um, it just, uh, and then mix, we'll mix and match those. So very simple um, polyculture guilds. Okay. Hopefully, with, with all the ecological functions, of course, yes, yes, in there too. Yeah, even we can we can group the ground cover as a ground cover title, and then we just ground cover one yes. name, one, one one. Right. One, yeah. Uh, exactly. We, we will add. We wouldn't have to specify. Punto, yes, okay. Yeah. No, we don't need that. We will we will find our own formula. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Right. Um, so how anything else? So this is how I'm going to start building these polycultures as they're listed in the spreadsheet. Uh, these are very complex to start. I just took everything that there was. Now, as I understand what's there, we're going to make them simpler okay. and go by tree specific species of trees, or maybe two different species. These are going to alternate. As uh, Jose was telling me before, is you know alternating. What is it? Almond and. Uh, Almond and olive or something was you were saying the other day that was alternating down the field with shrubs in between. Oh yeah, we will uh, we will talk about this. Yeah, just uh, we put olive uh, fruiting tree, nitrogen fixing tree, fruiting tree, nitrogen fixing tree. So in yes. between we put nitrogen fixing trees and shrubs, mm. and then we use uh, Armenicana, Prunus dulcis, Prunus Armenicana, uh, olive trees, uh, Sisyphus, uh, Lotus. Uh, well, and then go and go. They are uh, mulberries, black mulberries, and white mulberries. And then we use a lot of uh, stone fruits. All of the stone fruits are little, like cherry trees, apricots. Uh, and then we go guayaba, and then uh, we go to uh, fig trees, and then we go to um, uh, queens, and then we go to. Uh, Nispero, how do you call Nispero in English? Uh, uh, Nispero, uh, wait, I have it. It's not work. <laughs> so we, we, we have a lot of, of trees that are, can be rain fed after two summers that you have them to root down. Once they are root, you, yes. get, you get, let them to rain fed. Do you have and a... We can make... So the lower we go into the stress, the, 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 hydro, the more mesothermic, mesohydric we can uh, add. So apricots and figs will go in the, in the beginning, then guayabas and fig trees and guayabas and uh, queens and queens and uh, nisperos and nisperos and then uh, into orange and lemons, especially mandarins if there is cold weather, maybe we can make a no. microclimate for mandarins uh -huh. or even, yes, so it's so we we finish in mulberries and uh, and lotus and I think no no citrus I think. 
No citrus? I guess so, yeah. No, I don't think so. No okay. citrus. Well, yeah, I'm having the a, has lemon trees in high Aust Austria, so yeah, we could make it. We don't need citrus there, but we can make it. In five years, they're gonna, they do not grow, grow enough to, to feed people, so it's okay. It's okay, yeah. Let's do it slowly. I, if, we, if we have five minutes, I would like to hear Ray about animals a bit, if, he's, if it is okay with you. It's, it's okay with me. Is it all right? Is everybody else fine? Sure. Okay. Um, this is going to be, let me see if I, I have never shared um, this. That's so what do I what do I do here? The, the green the green thing. The green compartir? Uh, yeah, compartir pantalla. Yeah, Con compartir. Pizarra or pantalla. Screen. Pantalla, pantalla, pantalla. Uh -oh. What is I thought drive box? Google Drive. All right. I might one moment please. I've got pizarra, not pantalla. That's not gonna work. Hold on. Uh, no, all right. Don't even worry about okay, it. Okay, okay. I'll just tell you, it's it's not that complicated. Um, there are, I think, uh, there are four different kinds of uh, fowl that would be appropriate for the camps. Um, and of course, the, the caveat is um, someone at the camp needs to be responsible for them. So if we have somebody uh, responsible for them, which is not, it's not a 40 hour a week, you know, it's just someone needs to be checking on them in the morning and the evening and paying attention to them. Okay. Uh, but I think the four kinds that would be most likely to be uh, useful would be um, Coturnix quail, which are the codornith, um, chickens, geese, and even some uh, breeds of duck. So um, the, uh, the quail, the advantage of them is that the infrastructure for them is very small, uh, inexpensive. Uh, they can be sheltered within a shed um, or a, a section of greenhouse. You know, that, so so they, their shelter can be incorporated into a, an existing structure. The footprint of their shelter can be very small. You know, some people say you only need one or two square feet, so less than a square meter uh, per animal. You know, they're, they're five ounce, six ounce um, little birds. Uh, however, they are good egg layers. Um, they make manure. Uh, they can be fed with what can be grown at the camp. And uh, they do have a protein requirement, but we can have a worm composting uh, or um, other kind of uh, uh, maybe insect larva kind of system, which are Soldier generally flies. very small, very small um, footprint. And so those uh, for for the uh, for the quail, um, and I, I tend to think in, in was it empirical uh, 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 dimensions, but a four foot by three foot cage is is going to be probably let a, around maybe 10 euro for the materials and they, they're easily built. Um, they can be stacked. Um, and so if you, if you can keep them safe and they don't have a, a very large, uh, they, they don't need a, a, a large range. It, it's nice to set up the pen so that they do have a little bit of time, you know, in, in the fresh air, but um, a, a lot of commercial places don't, don't worry with that. And, and even, and a lot of homesteads, have quail. They're small um, and they're, they're pretty hardy. Um, and so, so food would not be, I think, much of a consideration for them. So um, depending on how many quail you want, and you can kind of up, upsize and downsize um, uh, pretty, pretty easily and pretty quickly. So that, that's quail. Um, they, people do eat them for meat. Um, there's instructions, you know, on how to do that. Um, for chickens, um, chickens, geese, or ducks, their shelter requirements are very similar. 
Uh, based on my experience, I, uh, two years ago, spent $1,500, right, 1500, uh, for the PVC coated half inch metal hardware cloth. Um, this is the kind of the top of the line because if, if that hardware cloth is used for the, for the fencing, for their, for their primary shelter, it doesn't have to be huge expanse. Um, then you're keeping out not only the larger predators, but you're keeping out rodents and you're keeping out reptiles that can also be a nuisance or can be a, a health concern. Um, even, even wild birds, you know, so, so that's, that's very, very um, secure. Um, I, for my 16 four pound average birds, um, I'm, I've got a 20 foot by 25 foot pen five feet high, uh, designed. I, I haven't built it yet, but I've, I've got the detailed design. Um, and that's fencing with top, bottom, and sides to keep out predators and so forth. That's 1500 for the, um, just for the hardware cloth, which is, is a wire mesh. And then I'm estimating about $800 for lumber to support that. Um, and I recommend that the, uh, the pen be designed as panels, in other words, as rectangular panels that can be bolted together because then it's easier to disassemble um, and right. move. Uh, it could also be repurposed for a nursery for tender perennials, you know, to, if, if that's, you know, something to think about. Um, I, for the, for the ducks, um, like I said, for the ducks, geese, and chickens, if you want to make a really nice, secure, double-walled, insulated shelter four foot by eight foot about five feet high with a double like we, we call it a dutch door so you've got a half of the door is up and half the door is down for people and a pop door which is a sliding door um i would estimate about uh seven hundred dollars which would be you know between six and eight hundred euros um for that material so those those are the numbers as far as as infrastructure and and that's that's the big expense is uh, protecting the animals and um, giving them enough room so that if you have to confine them that their behavior does not turn aggressive toward one another because they, they need some elbow room uh, for their health. Um, but the food can be grown um, at the camps. Uh, generally uh, a decent uh, variety of, of grains including millet or sorghum, not a whole lot of corn, wheat, um, is good. Some form of protein that, again, that can be pretty quickly brought up to speed at camp. Uh, and then I have a, a there's a, a home remedy kit that I keep handy. And um, I think just, you know, buying everything out from the beginning would be somewhere between like 30 and 80 euros for the whole thing. And, and it would last for a long time. And it would include Epsom salts, antibiotic ointment, oregano, um, a little wrap in case anybody hurts a wing or a leg, uh, syringes for feeding, uh, and comfrey salve, which is very, very important to have for critters. Um, it's, it's a healing ointment and it's very good for leg pulls. Um, and apple cider vinegar, which can be made at the camp. Uh, and, and that's really a very, very handy thing to have around if a, a bird is feeling a little bit off um, or if they need electrolytes. Hey, Ray. Yes. What's the minimum number? that makes it feasible to get uh, production? Well, um, it's gonna, it depends on the people at the camp, right? Um, we, my, my husband and I, there's, there's the two of us, we have uh, three ducks that have been laying all through the, the winter, just, just three. And we are every couple of weeks giving away one or two dozen eggs just because we, you know, we eat an egg or two a day for the two of us um, because we have other sources of protein. So I would, I would just say, you know, count on um, a couple of eggs worth a day per person since people are going to be working and, and needing that. And, and, I, and it, it depends on the other sources of protein that are available. Um, so generally, I know with ducks, from experience that your younger ducks, they're you know, three years of age and younger, are gonna be laying just about every day if you choose a laying breed. 
So you, you and so I suggest a step, in other words, if, we're, if the camp's gonna be there for five years, that you get, you know, your initial uh, flock and, um, and then wait a couple of years and add maybe half as, as many in to, to keep, you know, a mixed age flock so that you, you have fairly steady production. As they age, they're laying ducks. And chickens slow down, I think, a, a bit more than, than ducks. And so generally what people uh, do if they don't have them as pets, because they're not pets, um, they'll have the chickens for two or three years because that's when they're very productive with laying. And then they go to the stew pot. Um, that's, that's kind of a question that you'll, that somebody's got to have. I'm not going to tell anybody what to do with ducks. They slow down in the, in the winter time, but I have seven year old ducks who still lay regularly. And by regularly, I mean like, you know, at least three or four times a week throughout the late spring into summer. Did that answer your question at all? So each person needs two to get one egg a day. Um, the first year, each person needs one to get one egg a day. Okay. If if it's a good laying breed, that's the you you, you would choose a a laying breed. Okay. So that's what uh, I, it, a minimum though. Number if we have twenty, we got lots of eggs to start. Yes. Okay. I don't know a ton about chickens, but uh, that's what I'm trying to size it up for how much are we dealing with. Yeah. And I know people that spend a lot of money on feed also when you don't really have to, but we could also grow grains. Um, yeah. Grains and, and a protein source, of insects. Yeah. And some, fre some fresh, like comfrey. Comfrey is a good, uh, in, in smaller, small-ish quantities, comfrey is, is, a, is a nice addition uh, to their uh, diet. So just poultry? What was the ducks? rest of the just, just mm -hmm. poultry or we don't we don't we can't do ducks, right? That's what I understand. We can't do ducks there. But we could do geese and we could do quail and we could do chickens. Yes. I think you I think you could do ducks. Okay. Um, ducks do not require a pond. In fact, domestic ducks would be better not on a pond. Oh, really? Because ponds attract predators. And ducks can foul the water, pardon the term. <laughs> ducks will enrich the water quite a bit. Um, but this, especially my smaller breeds, you know, I use concrete mixing pans. And, you know, they really don't, they just need enough water um, to uh, splash around in a bit and, mm -hmm. and wash their heads. It's important that they wash their heads. So, but I'm, I'm not emphasizing ducks, but I, I do want to get that, that you don't have to have a pond for ducks. They do require more water though than chickens but, or quail or geese. But geese require ponds. No, geese no, do not require. Them. An, an advantage to geese that I just want to throw out there is that they are excellent in um, helping maintain olive groves. Olive? Yes. Oh, okay. There's a fellow, uh, where is it? Um, his name, Juan Olivares in Juan Olivares. Mancha. Okay. Oh. He has geese in his olive groves. Okay. I, don't, uh, I would like to share you, I don't know if you know, the um, uh, La Pateria de Sousa. Have you heard about it? No. It is um, considered the best foie gras in the world, um, but uh, this work only with um, geese. Uh, wild geese, and they are uh, mi uh, migrative. Uh, mm -hmm. geese. Um, they are completely wild, so they eat uh, bellotas from the Corpus Ilex, and it is a very, very beautiful project. Um, I know many people for, uh, from France uh, have gone to, to visit this. This is a deessa uh, from Corpus Ilex, um, and they are very jealous because the foie there is much better. But of course, uh, they only choose a very, very little number of, of geese and they, they kill them uh, very carefully, uh, always at night, dark night. Um, they encandelate them so they, the animals don't suffer. So I'm going to share with you the, 
the link because it is a very beautiful uh, project that would be nice to to try to to copy or to be inspired with, with it. Where is this in our timeline? Do you think? Sorry, the foul. I I would. It's Baldwin. not. For, oh yeah. Um, it it I think it it would might be easiest once um, you're you're starting to get some uh, grains. You know. Um, uh, year two. Year two. Year two. Okay. Let's do that. That'll be because we're gonna. That's. I don't want to add another circle either to this no, process. No, no, no. So, uh, but it's a big deal that somebody's gonna need to manage and really not handle. But that's. Uh, I think a great thing to add on once we have yeah. organic material to feed them, cover yep. um, everything else. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to excuse myself. I'm we, gonna. We can leave everybody. I think eh? it's, it's finished, yeah. Daniel. I'm good. Paul? Mm -hmm. Maria, Jose? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank I you, have, everyone. I have shared with you the, the link, yes. and as I, I say, I recommend ah, you to okay. watch the, the videos. It, it is really, really, really beautiful. Okay. Are you copying that, Ray? You have the uh, notes? Um, no. How do I do that? You can just select it and just cut and paste the whole text. Okay. I'm here. Mm -hmm. yeah. and maybe you could share in a Google Drive. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it too. So the the PDF is now in Google Drive at that link that I put up. Thank you. Um, and you should be able to see it there. Let me know if you can't, but it should be there. It's a fairly good size. Lots of detail. Uh, would anyone object? Uh, I was thinking about putting all of our agendas onto a single uh, a single document and just keep a running agenda with the, the dates at different findings for each date. Does anyone care if we have a separate document for every agenda or okay. is everyone okay with having a single record of meetings? Single is fine for me as long as the okay. newest one's on top. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ray? Uh, no, uh, uh, what about next soon? What, what subjects we, we should talk about? Uh, let's, let's, let's talk. I would like to spend more time on plants. Yep. and really nail down what's going in this uh, these rows okay. and mm -hmm. do a general pattern so that we can get the trees. Let's just get the trees. So, what are the trees? Where are they going? Okay. Plant list for the next. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, 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 I've been watching the, the plant um, list and I miss the family name. I think it is useful, especially okay. if we want to to make groups uh, about uh, nitrogen fixers and this, I think it is useful to to organize also by families. Okay, uh, we're trying to use a standard like the Excel sheet that we're trying to use is kind of a standard format at least for us. And if we can keep using that, we can always sort it. So I don't know if there's a column ca, uh, column for family. I know we don't output that in our in our yeah. in our sheets. No. But we could get that and put that in because then we can sort it any way you want. And that's what we like about Excel. We can always sort it. So okay. that's good. So we'll try and get that cleaned up and, and um, get all the information on there, keep our, our scales correct. And then we, I'll just try to, to then make more polycultures, but also look at the map and we'll get on there and we'll just start marking where are things going and what are we going to work with. Okay. All right. That's all okay. fun. So I'll see you.